Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. In the past, I've used Adrobo S to store my projects. And for each FCP project, I changed the scratch disk setting to point to the project directory on the Drobo. The idea was to keep all the files associated with the project together, which allowed me to move the entire directory off the Drobo, which I use off to the Drobo, which I use as an archive drive. The system sort of worked, but it's way too easy to switch projects and forget to change the scratch disk settings. With the new system, I installed a second internal drive to use as a scratch disk, and I am keeping the source files, my P2 images on that second drive, the project file and the output files on the Drobo. I think this system will work okay, but I'm wondering what I need to keep with my project in case I need to work with them again in the future, and etc, etc. All right. This is one of the three most popular questions I get asked a lot. Without a doubt, the most requested feature inside Final Cut is for scratch disks to be project-based. Unless you purchase third-party software, project settings are not project-based. They are system-based. This means that you need to set your scratch disks once and leave them alone. Scratch disks were not designed to be changed between projects. And there are several reasons for this. One, let's say that you're using a second drive. And let's say, hypothetically, that for some reason you start Final Cut and that second drive is not turned on. Final Cut will automatically and without warning you reset all your scratch disks back to your home directory. So all of a sudden you're building render files in the worst possible place to the home directory of your boot drive. If you're constantly changing hard drives and trying to change your scratch disk, I guarantee you that at some point you're going to forget to do it and you're going to have render files scattered all over your system. You're going to have files that come up offline and having to re-render. It's just a mess. So the absolute number one rule is to set your scratch disks once and leave them alone. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.